Hey, how you doing? It's Jim Wahlberg here for RCA TV. I'm in Bohemia Manor Middle and High School in Maryland. I want to introduce you to the principal, Juanita Flores. Thank you so much. Um, today was a was a was for me it was a great day, and and for me to to say the things that I've said, I got to tell you, I've been to a lot of schools, I've been to a lot of places, I met a lot of kids. Your kids are special. We have great kids. We have great kids here. We need to end the stigma. We need to understand that this thing is affecting families all across America and all across the world. It doesn't matter how much you got, where you're from, what you look like, how much, how educated you are, it doesn't matter. It's affecting families all across this country and all across the world. Drug addiction is a disease, but it is a disease that can be prevented if you don't take drugs. We want to eradicate this problem, and that's going to really focus on you as people in the community pushing everywhere you can to get money, to get educational resources, so that our children can grow up in a safer environment. For me, it's not like a huge problem with my friends, but I know like throughout the school it is a problem and it's not addressed and I think today it was very necessary and it hit everyone hard. What we're doing right here is the people that are sitting in this room are the leaders of our community. Everyone that decided to show up tonight because you, you care enough to choose to come here to try to make a difference or try to learn to educate your family or your kids or someone in the community about what's going on. And it's around us every day. There's no avoiding it. There's no stopping it. You're going to see it everywhere you go. It is okay to have those conversations. If you have someone in your family that do have an addiction, don't shun them. Don't make them feel embarrassed that they're in this position. You have to be open to them to help them. It's simply a case of people being willing to talk to one another. So be part of the solution. And every decision you make today supersedes and overrides any negative decision you'd ever made in the past. Does anyone in recovery tell you part of our solution to our problem is just giving back to our communities? So this is critical. This is really critical because the honest to God truth is most of us don't know anything. We don't know what to do. We don't know where to turn. We don't know how to, what do we do if this thing comes in our home? My mission has been accomplished. The conversation needed to be started. 